decision. Settling in with the pitch and the bowling of the Indians. Jones, good feeling by Azra Den, he's out, he's been run out. Alan Border came in and straight That's a full toss and smashed back just wide of the bowler. They'll come back for a second. This could be close. <laughs> Big appeal there for the run out, but that's good running by Smith. He went flying down the wicket and got himself back just in time. Ian Smith very nippy indeed between the wickets. The throw was a good one from Azruddin. Ian Smith very quickly, and that was a very close decision, but uh, the umpire quite right, rightly judging in the batsman's favour. Azredin is going to be close. Oh, My word, that was a brilliant piece of fielding by Azredin at backward point. He went for Marsh at the bowler's end. Shastri was at the stumps. Let's watch him move. That one played behind square, and uh, he came in very quickly, whipped it in, and... Uh, had he hit the stumps, of course, uh, it would have been a great chance of a run out. It's hit away on the leg side and uh, into the gap. Uh, Reed turns blind, comes back and gets to. As Rudine out in the deep, good piece of fielding, good quick return. Wasn't quick enough to beat John Reed. It's just a little too high for keeper Vishwanath to drag it down. Doing the right thing, grounding the bat. And we're going to have the third umpire coming into play here. Let's have a look at what happened. Azaruddin with the throw. And he looks to be well in. He even had his feet in the crease then. Do not give the batsman what he wants. Again, good fielding in that position by Azraddin. 14 overs bowled, 46. That's good running. That really was pinching one. And that's out. Azaruddin takes the catch. You'll be pleased about that. Kumble takes the wicket. Strang not quite so happy. But a well-judged catch. They're never easy when you have to dive forward for them. It's a very unusual way of getting out. He's trying to hit over mid-on. The ball bat is slipping out of his hand. And uh, falling on the wicket as well. So I think we can say that he is conclusively out. I must have been, I hadn't noticed the... Shahid Afridi on strike. Chance and well taken. Very good catch there by Azaruddin. Moving away to his right. And that's a good start for Venkatesh Prasad. A very good take by Azaruddin. That is the risk Pakistan really have to take uh, with Shahid Afridi opening the innings. Fleshy outside the off stump, not in control, and a very good catch by Mohammad Azruddin. Had to dive, his eyes on the ball. So early exit for uh, the Pakistani opener, Shahid Afridi gone for not, and Pakistan one for one. To do wonders for New Zealand from now on. Oh, he's out. Oh, just Azruddin just gets hold of it. It looked as if it was hot and he was trying to toss it away, but he held it. And so I look at the Srinath, Cairns is gone for 25. And New Zealand have lost their fourth wicket. Yes, we're seeing here that Cairns actually played that well, but he hit it straight to the fieldsman. And as Redin, of course, always had it under control, even though he was playing with it there. 
So Cairns was just starting to pick up the tempo. And he'd hit Srinath for four. And this time it was a bit close to him. And he flicked it. He hit it pretty hard. But in the air. And close enough to allow Mohammed Azaruddin to pull it in. And keep control of it. Shane Thompson's the new batsman with Schoenart to bowl to him. 144 for four, 17 needed. Ah! Ball's caught. Schoenart has another catch. Taken in the slip this time. Magnificent ball has ended Thompson. And I think that might have been Azra didn't again. But did he get back into slip that time, Bob? Did you see who did it? I think he was. Yes, he was in there fielding, and we're going to see here, this, this is the ability that Srinath has. Look at the bounce he got there, it really climbed on him. And once again, that catch was taken very low down. It's a beautiful catch. Isn't he a lovely mover in the field? Mohamed Azraddin is really an expert field, particularly in the slips in the gully area. But an athletic man, well, looks as if he's given India just a glimpse of hope here with 144 for five. Three balls ago, they were 144 for three. And Trinath has two wickets. This is the second of them. Yes, we mentioned before that Trinath has the ability to get bounce out of the wicket. That one hurried on to Thompson. And as you said, uh, there was a lot of work to be done then, and that was to catch it. That was a, a very good catch. Coming forward to grab that before it hit the dirt. It looked as if it was going to land in front of him. And delight from Ezra Din and Trinath. And he's gone. Third wicket down. And India struck again. The pace men have done it once more. They ripped through Australia the other day in Melbourne. And Mohammad Azruddin has now caught Martin Crow at slightly backward point. Pace men doing all the damage again. Just what New Zealand didn't need. Martin Crow looking to. Played the ball away forcefully through the offside, but the ball flying from a thick outside edge to just behind point. And Yad uh, Mohammed Azruddin takes the catch comfortably. It went straight to him, so New Zealand in the 15th. Snedden taking strike to Mudden Lull. Well, he's hit it. It's going down the ground. Will this be out? Azruddin's there. He's caught it. New Zealand all out of the last ball of their innings. 206 posted by them, and that's not a bad recovery after a dreadful start.